I am Chester Arizmendi, the proud principal for Senator Eddie A. Lucio Jr. Middle School. Today we come together as a BISD Lucio Middle School learning community to celebrate and officially open the use of our four lane track that was constructed through the approval of the Brownsville ISD tax ratification election held on Tuesday, October 6, 2015. The ballot passed with 84% voter approval, and for that, we are grateful. To begin our program, please stand for the presentation of colors by members of the Lucio Middle School Student Council and remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance and the Texas Pledge by Student Council President Dana Reyes and Student Council Representative Mia Zarmeno, followed by the singing of our national anthem by the Lucio Middle School Varsity Treble Choir under the direction of Paul Wooderson. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, into the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, for liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state, under God, and one indivisible. Thank you, Student Council and Choir. You may be seated. Want to take this time to introduce some amazing people who made this tax ratification a reality. A hearty welcome to the BISD Board President, Minerva M. Peña. <laughs> Vice President, Dr. Sylvia P. Atkinson. <laughs> Secretary, Dr. Prissy Roca Tipton. Assistant Secretary Philip T. Cowan, <laughs> Member Drew Brown, <laughs> Member Erasmo Castro, <laughs> and Member Laura Perez, Perez Reyes. <laughs> Our guest speaker, Senator Eddie A. Lucio Jr. <laughs> Our area superintendent for the Lopez Cluster, Sandra Lopez. Other area superintendents who may be present, Mrs. Alma Cardas Ness Rubio, Dr. Timothy, Timothy Cuff, Mr. Jimmy Haynes, who also oversees facilities, personnel from Central Office, Staff Attorney Miguel Salinas, Interim Chief Financial Officer Mary Garza, Assistant Superintendent for Human Resources Carmelita Rodriguez, Assistant Superintendent for Curriculum and Instruction, Dr. Doris Salceda. Assistant Athletic Administrator, Sandra Powers. Athletic Administrator, Gilbert Leal. Mrs. Dalia Aguilar, Principal for Lopez Early College High School. Our feeder high school, our elementary feeder school principals. My Lucio Middle School Administration, Dean Grisel Gonzalez, Mrs. Celeste Pascal, and Mr. Joe Guzman. Teachers, parents, students, 
invited guests, and lastly, but certainly not, not least, our Commander-in-Chief for Brownsville ISD, Superintendent Dr. Rene Gutierrez. Welcome. At this time, it is with great pleasure, pleasure that I welcome to the podium Dr. Rene Gutierrez, Superintendent for Schools, Brownsville ISD, and A-rated school district. Good morning. Thank you, Mr. Arismendi. Thanks to your staff for organizing and putting this together. Uh, first of all, I'd like to say uh, what I told uh, the, the audience at Porter High School when we dedicated the, their fine arts building uh, about a week ago. Uh, the tax ratification election is uh, it's something that uh, we're very proud of in Brownsville ISD because the community the parents of the Brownsville ISD decided to, uh, to provide us with more monies. And I'm putting it very simple so that everyone can understand what this all means. The community, the taxpayers, gave us the money to the school district to be able to provide better facilities for our students. So it says a lot about uh, our parents and everyone that lives in Brownsville ISD because we have our community who supports education and they support our school system. And of course, they're going to support an A-rated school system, right? Thanks to all of them. Th thanks to the staff and to the kids that we're an A-rated school district. So we're giving back to the to the community, and um, and Ms. Drew Brown said it well last week uh, when we were at Porter. You know, there were promises made, promises kept. This was a promise that was made uh, through through the tax ratification election to be able to continue upgrading our facilities, and the dedication of this track is a proof of that, that uh, we are going to put the money back where it belongs. It belongs to our students, and it belongs to our staff. And this dedication of this track, it also exemplifies that uh, we want our students to do very well in the classroom, academically, of course. We're always gonna be doing everything we can to, to make our students better academically, but also outside the classroom, there's so much that our students can do. Uh, for example, through fine arts, and we have the wonderful band. Let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> our choir who just sang for us, and then we have a girls out there and, and boys, uh, the sharing squad. Thank you so much. So there's so, there's so many things that, uh, that we offer to our students outside the classroom. This track is about uh, Athletics, you know, like we have our fine arts. And we want our students to be well-rounded students, academically, but also outside the classroom, whether they can participate in the fine arts program or the athletics program. I want to thank uh, the Lopez High School staff who are here, Ms. Aguilar, Coach Gutierrez, and, and his staff. Thank you for being here because it's a feeder program. It's a connecting, uh, connecting the middle schools to our high schools. And um, our students from Lucio, Eventually, we'll go to Lopez, and, and thank you for being here and also being part of this because it means a lot to the students in middle school to see their administration and coaches uh, at the high school level where you all are gonna receive them pretty soon with open, with open arms. So thank you for being here. And uh, this track is about uh, dedicating it to students to be physically active as well. Uh, and maybe one day, perhaps one day, we can uh, put some lights here uh, around the track and open it up to the community so that we can promote wellness, not only to our students, but also to the, the parents and the community that lives around Lucio uh, Middle School. And uh, maybe the city out there, can uh, we can partner with the city and they can help us put some lights and eventually not only utilize this track, 